Hello everyone, this is Dane. Welcome back to the channel. This is in Samal, Zavo del Norte, as usual. And today is July, I think, 21st. You might think what is going on in improvement so far. This is the one that is new for us this time, right there. Um, this is around, I would say, 124 meters long, the length of this uh, um, fence. We decided to do it this way, just to give the property some sort of delineation. And it will define also the size. And it would add a little bit of really beauty to the property. Uh, it's along the Barangay Road. Now we started this last week and my boys has really done a good job with this. Um, as you see, we use barbed wire. This is one here. And we have also um, used hollow blocks which are rendered and uh, that should last us for a long long time if we have to repair it maybe just the barbour otherwise the rest would be almost permanent and i'm so proud of the boys doing this uh, it doesn't really take very long i have uh, purchased or brought a wench or a come along that would stretch all the barbour that really helps the um integrity of the um, barbed wire because it is very tight. Maying hapon! Sus pastilanan ani. Uy, di lisod lagi wala ilain nga buhay no? Nga. You see guys, the terrain, we're gonna remove this area, this one. We're gonna remove that part according to Rewell. I'm glad yes. because it looks ugly. <laughs> Anyhow, the terrain here is very, very uh, irregular. So there's no way that we can be um, very perfect as far as the insulation of, of the barbed wire. Um, we have, you see guys, I'll show it to you. We made all of this from scratch. We have a mold and this is a very very uh, strong um, post and we have pre-installed all these dowels that would hold and or clip the rebars when we install them so it makes it so fast you see guys so and then we used the come along that I was talking about it's really just a simple one, very cheap. Maybe I bought this for only like $38 in US. And it helped us very much um, during the installation of all those barbed wire as well as the field wire. Short leg, go back home. Dali! Dali! Why in the world are you out? How in the world this dog was able to get out? They're so wise, guys. They're really wise. Hey, Jack. Now, uh, that's Joe Bert. We're almost done with the rendering of all the uh, hollow blocks. That's what we do. We render the front and the back. Kumusta, Joe? So, mahuman siguro ta ni Karong Kwa, no? Mga ugma siguro, no? Kutabangan ka lang nila, no? Yeah. Then we can start on the another project. I think tomorrow we'll get, get finished with all of this. And we're going to start on another project. I do not know what it is, but I'll let you know when it gets there. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to show you my face right now. That's the boy. Pabalangga na ako. Sila si the boy o si... I love these people here. 
in a way I like them very much okay honey I hope I can be seen you see kailangan pa kaya na tuguan mga mga kuan barbwar or tama na ta sa barbwar this is how I look <laughs> anyway um this is how I look in the morning and in the afternoon but I already took a bath so anyhow this is summer life to you uh, full of surprises at the same time it can get a little boring but otherwise you just have to break it and get out of here from time to time and uh, make a little bit of travel around the Philippines you know so that's what I've been doing I make sure also that I am covered with un uh, with mosquito re anti mosquito repellent or a repellent insect repellent I used off or a DEET um, DEET from the United States would do well okay the off I do not know sometimes it does not work for me but the DEET that I have it's really very effective so anyhow um, mosquitoes right now are very very bad just because it's been raining every day for the past uh, I would say about four weeks now so um, I'm glad that the road is okay but the road on the other end they really can uh, uh, you can easily bug down so uh, anyhow the government is trying to their best um, to help us out with this they scrape this from time to time okay guys thank you I hope you enjoy that bye bye God bless Oh my goodness. What's the name of Kiko. 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 Oh no, 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 no. Kiko. Kiko. Come here, baby. Kiko. Kiko. Oh, he got a girlfriend. He got a girlfriend. Thank you, guys. Bye bye. Lucky Porta. Okay. Bye bye. Be careful. All right, guys, this is to continue what I had started. Um, this is how it looks right now. So the length of this uh, property is actually fronting the uh, barangay. It's about 300 meters. 300 meters fronting the barangay. Um, So this is how it looks right now, right there. There. You might think how much it cost, okay guys? I'll tell you what. Ah, the cost of this, uh, Oh man, I forgot what it was. I would say maybe $35,000, $35,000, uh, no pesos, 35,000 pesos I think guys, if, if I am correct. I may have to purchase some more barbed wires though. So uh, we will see, but I think more or less about 35,000 pesos or with the labor, it would be about 50,000. So, not very bad at all. If you in, this is about, I would say, 124 meters frontage that we have to put um, the fence up. So, 124 meters length. And that costs us about more or less about 50,000 
pieces. So I think that is fair. Makes it really neat. So now what we're planning to do here, we're going to line it up with uh, tea plants or anything that we can use just to um, neutralize the area or, or um, something like uh, make it a little pretty. Now I decided to put, what is this, coleus, no crouton plants here and some um, other uh, plants like tea plants and on this side I decided also to put different kinds of um, plants. I would prefer to just kind of pack this up with different kinds of plants that does not require a lot of watering during summertime. Anything that is endogenous at the same time pretty. So that is croutons, tea plants, talking about the crouton plants, tea plants, bougainvilleas. From time to time, I would have papayas. And I have some, uh, what is this, a kind of palm tree. And this is one of those, uh, what, what is that kind of, uh, like a pineapple thing. Um, now, I decided also to uh, incorporate like a, a, a kalumpang. Kalumpang is a kind of um, a small tree right here. So I packed that up over there, up to the end. So anything that would grow, anything that does not require a lot of water, that's what I'm going to plant here. So just pack it up and uh, something that can uh, withstand um, anything like uh, abuse of the nature and anything also that can choke any weeds because the weeds is notorious in this area. So anyhow, this is uh, what I'm doing right now. Uh, as part of our development. So hopefully in about a year, these are all filled up. We'll see. We can always thin them out and uh, we can thin them out and pull them out, and get rid of them because they're all for free. <laughs> Everything what we have here are all cuttings and uh, they're all for free. So I'm not gonna cry if I have to pull them out. Oh, I will transfer them somewhere else. All right, guys, thank you very much for everything again. I hope you enjoy that. Bye-bye.